new poll by Yahoo News, YouGov, shows that a significant number of Americans have concerns over taking a vaccine when it becomes available. And we see, particularly among Black Americans, a high degree of vaccine hesitancy and distrust. I think one of the reasons that we're seeing this vaccine hesitancy is because what we've seen over the course of the pandemic is a level of political interference in our public health agency that we haven't seen in the past before. The timeline and the push for it to come out around election day, I think it's really an issue for many people. We remain on track to deliver a vaccine before the end of the year and maybe even before November 1st. Particularly for Black Americans, there is a significant history of exploitation, abuse by the healthcare system of Black communities that has left a very low level of trust in these communities towards the healthcare system. In the past, we have had the Tuskegee syphilis study and other medical experimentation where Black Americans have been the guinea pigs that has left Black communities with particularly low level of distrust towards the healthcare system. There's a concern about, am I going to be a guinea pig for this vaccine, especially if the process uh, is being rushed? There's also the current day issue of Black patients still experiencing discrimination. Black babies have the highest infant mortality rates, Black women have the highest maternal mortality rates, and Black men have the shortest life expectancy. And this is despite significant advances in therapeutics and how we care for patients. So this distress is not unique to COVID. It's pre-existing just like the health inequities are pre-existing. I think a lot of the work actually should start in the clinical trials targeting Black communities and other communities of color. We need an adequate representation of Black Americans in these vaccine trials because it's Black communities that are being most disproportionately impacted by the virus. And so while there is no biological difference between people of different races, what we know is that racism shapes the health of these communities. And this data is incredibly important to know. I think one of the ways to increase the number of people who would be willing to take the vaccine is to have transparency in the process first and foremost. While we may have some concerns about the political motivations of this administration, what we do know is that we have messaging from these vaccine manufacturers that they will wait until we have that data that we need to have to make sure vaccines are safe and effective. For Black communities and other communities of color, vaccine manufacturers need to uh, allocate resources for messaging and outreach in these communities to do it alongside of trusted leaders and trusted community members. These efforts should be ongoing. This is not just sort of a one-time thing with this pandemic and forming long-term relationships with communities will be incredibly crucial to ensuring that community members will be willing to take the vaccine.